Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Estancia Sao Carlos with me, Sea Waddy here in Farming Simulator 22. Where we are still hard at work on day one of August with all our machines running. We've got baling being done over on um, the grass field. We've got ploughing being, contract being done here on field nine. We've got harvesting being done on field four. And I've also been at least myself another piece of equipment ready to tackle harvesting on field six. So if we head over to the store, we'll see this beautiful bad boy. A new harvester. The Grimmy Reaper 2000. <laughs> I like the play, Grim, Grimmy Reaper. And this is going to be our harvest, a new big harvesting boy. Look at that header. 60 footer, ladies and gents. For when we get the harvest contracts where you really do just need a little bit more. Oh dear. That not really go on well. Is that supposed to go on from the other side, you think? Which is normally the old one from the left. But do you suppose this one should go on from this side then, maybe? Or is the header broken? Because again, it's quite an old mob, this. It's not had much in the way of updates. I think that's locked on this time. Right. And also, what's great about this little pod. If I can actually hook it up to the parts then. Might need to get a tractor to pull that actually. Which is a bit of a pain. Oh no, don't tell me I've done it again. I'm having a, I'm having a bit of an issue at the minute with lampposts <laughs> in, in my farming sim game. Let's see, can I actually hook on to this with the harvester? Let's see. Does this have a hitch? Not a great pitch, I'll be honest. Right. Where's this round? Right, we need to... Break my header. Just got to balance nicely. Then you're going to come along and ram me, Mr. Carl. Mm. I need to be able to fill that. Is it? Ah, 
might be an issue. Um, we're supposed to be able to fill that all with fuel. I am. Um, turning circle on this is huge. Right, up to field six, we have to go, ladies and gentlemen. That is where the contract, next contract is. <laughs> we really hope all this equipment works well. <laughs> Sixty foot header. No, I'm trying to drag around the map. Really. I just figured it might speed up some of the harvesting contract we end up taking. It'd be a worthwhile investment. tractor take a screenshot Great big header. Round him off. Hopefully, this works. And we're successfully able to harvest the sorghum. On this field. Right, before we get too carried away, let's remember to check on our harvester. I'm actually going to remember hold up my header for a change because I almost always normally forget, don't I? Then we'll take this back to the farm. I will actually get the repair bench set up 
very soon. So I can get all this stuff washed and repaired at my own farm. We've spent some money. <laughs> Just noticed. We've spent a lot of money. In the last day or so. Right, leave that part there. Right, we need to empty this at warehouse three and then I do believe uh, field six is going to warehouse one hence the reason for keeping all my crops separate Just going this way, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm also about to get the, the hay bale sold as well today. Very useful. grand for the extra crop. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we'll get the hay bales done next. And we'll be ready to start rolling August 2nd. Probably go follow the harvester, I suppose. The way we went this way, to the field. I'll also plow this field properly. I will come round and do the headland, where uh, Mr. Wolf has failed to correctly plow the field. And we'll neaten that up before we complete the contract. And then we'll send him down to do field 16, I think, is the next ploughing contract we have available to us. Yeah, it's all going very good. This is a great opportunity as well for me to enjoy a little bit of my Wraith Energy product. cup of tea lovely Rafe cherry and lime flavour today it's the last of my cherry and flom I've actually finished my cherry and lime tub so unfortunately I'm just going to have to do um, make use of 
the What the Duck flavour, the uh, Gamer's Bathwater. Um, move that somewhere. And my um, Cult Cola flavour at the minute that I'm, I'm, I'm using. Stop! So, yeah, it's got lots of tubs of Rafe. Got a few more. Got RGB Berry. Um, what else have I got? Strawberry and Kiwi, I think. Um, blueberry Lemonade. And another one. Uh, I think. Oh, it might be Court Lemonade. Court Society Lemonade. No, it's... um. Oh, Sour Apple. Sour Apple. Which is one of my favourite flavours of Rave. Um, have a look. If there's a bale anywhere down here, I think there is. We've got 14 of these hay bales. Sixteen hay bale. Let's have a look see if there's another one up here. Probably isn't. No. Right. Uh, we can complete that contract. Right, we need to find hay. Where's the best price for hay currently? Mm, cooperative or bales? Cooperative. No. Bales is closer. Bales is just off the main road. We'll go there. It's not the best price, unfortunately. Um, but we'll make do. We will make do. I can say at least it'll bring in some pennies for me. Go down. I almost think those cars are going to drive into me. Hopefully 14 nice hay bales will uh, make us a nice penny. If not, might have to rethink our um, business strategy a little bit. We get $131,207. It's not shabby, is it, folks? Not shabby at all. For the hay. Very nice. All right, just leave you part there then for a moment. Whilst I remember, we will grab our pressure washer.
I love the thing that says I've only got shoot the counts down the um, the dirt level. Like we're at eighty percent dirt on the harvester, and we're trying to make it cleaner. And it also shows you the damage level. We are up twenty odd percent. Right. Next thing I need to build then is my workbench. So if we go into tools, I'm hoping it's under here. It is. I'm wondering, can I place it more or less like here? Now, if we drive the harvest around, is that going to let me now repair my um, harvester and my header? Don't know where the trigger box is. Yes. There we go, folks. All nicely repaired, but not refueled yet. We must make sure we refuel it when we come to take it from the farm next time. Right. We can carry on doing more harvesting then with our brand new machine. Our brand new Grimmy Reaper. Lovely tool. And I'll tell you what, I'll let you into another little secret, ladies and gents. When this field is harvested, I'm very tempted to buy it. I think it would be another nice addition to my farm. Because obviously we, we are just through there. Through that little, follow the path and you're into my farm. So this would be a nice little field for me add to my own productions obviously we could do the plat replow the edges using the um, same method as I used on field 7 move the edges away from the field trees and everything shrink the field down a little bit ultimately make it better for me when it comes to harvesting and stuff. A bit rocky and rolly this machine. All together Plus, I like the fact, another thing I like about it, it's got a, a, an extended auger pipe. So when you're using it with a big header, like this, it shouldn't interfere with the tractor. The tractor should be able to unload it. This machine's also got a fairly massive grain tank on it. We'll probably end up filling the trailer with the first unload of this harvester, actually. So each unload will empty the trailer, fill the trailer, more or less. Which will be pretty decent. Mm -hmm. 
to get this contract done. The ploughing contract will be completed today. And then August 2nd, when we come back, will be loading new jobs. So we make good money from that um A bailing. Next cut, which will be winter, we will do silent again. Won't we? That should give us a nice big chunk of change. Plus we'll have our own harvest to come as well. With our canola and soybeans and stuff, so should bring us in some good money. This could be a very profitable year for us. Our really first real massively profitable year. And like I say, if we can get another field, like this field, purchased, we'll be quick to Big um, pipe. Okay, we'll roll on a little bit till we hit absolute capacity. It's a little bit awkward, doesn't it? Right, we're ninety six percent full. Right, we need to go to warehouse one. Just down here. More or less bottom of the road, isn't it? Bottom of the main road. So if we shortcut through the farm... And go out this way. able to go and get on to the uh, main road.
So yeah, that combine with that header, pretty damn good. Twenty-eight percent delivered for the contract, right? Not to worry. I'll head back to the field, carry on. I'll also come round, finish off that field with the plow. Um, you guys can come back and ooh. <laughs> you guys can come back and join me at the start of the next day on the farm on the map where we will be taking another bunch of jobs and we'll also start the rolling of the grass field to get that ready for the next growth period. And then um, there's another harvesting job somewhere I've got to go and do, I'm sure. Um, so the Grim Reaper probably gets some more use. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, ladies and gents. So for now, from me, Wally, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Goodbye for now, folks.